Hello and welcome back to another video in Ionic Apps for WooCommerce course. In this video we are going to take a step further and learn about the JavaScript features that Ionic List have. So far we have seen Ionic List as just the CSS components but they are a lot more than that. In this video we will learn how we can use Ionic List's built-in functionality to reorder items in the list and to delete items in the list. We will also look at how to create optional buttons for each item in the list. So let's get started. First of all I'll change the list from UL to ion list. So I'll just change this text to ion list. Okay. And I'll change the li tag to ion item. I'll save it. And as soon as I save you can see that my list has been transformed into a beautiful list which is perfect to be displayed on mobile devices. Now what I can do is I can implement additional functionality to my list. So first of all let's implement the functionality to delete items from this list using the built-in features of ionic list. So what I have to do is I have to add an attribute to ion list tag which is called show delete and I'll have to set it to true. Okay. So this means that now I can use delete functionality in my ion item. And the next thing is that I'll have to add the actual button tag which is ion delete button to the ion item tag. Okay. So just before I close my ion item tag, I'll have to add ion delete button tag. This takes an ng click directive which is very similar to on click function in JavaScript. It just executes the code passed to it whenever the button is clicked. Okay. So what we are doing here is that we are deleting an item from the user's array. And the item that we are deleting from the user's array is at dollar $index which means the current index. The second parameter is 1 which means that I just want to delete one item from the list from the current index. You can already see that I have the delete buttons displayed on the left in my list items. I can click on any of these buttons and the items get deleted. Although I can refresh and bring the items back because the items are defined statically in my controller. You may not always want to show these delete buttons. You may want to show them only when the user requires them. So let's just create a button in our header bar and when the user will click on that button, these buttons in our list will be shown. Otherwise these buttons will just be hidden. So I'll just go to my header bar and just before my title on the left, I'll add a button. I'll add a class of button dark so this will give me a black button and I'll add an ng click directive. What I want to do is I want to modify the value of a variable based on which I will either show the delete buttons or hide them. So let's just create a variable called allow delete. Okay and I'll toggle the value of allow delete variable. So I'll just set the allow delete to not allow delete. Okay. I'll set the text on the button as delete and I'll close the button. And now instead of passing true as the default value of our show delete directive, what I can do is I can pass in allow delete, which will contain either true or false. But there is no default value to allow delete. So we will go to our app.js file and define a default value to our scope level variable, which is allow delete. And I'll set it to false, which means that by default, these buttons will not be shown. If I click on the delete button, the buttons on the items are shown. If I click on the delete button again, the value of allow delete variable is changed to false and the buttons are hidden. So this way I can show and hide the buttons. I can click on the delete buttons and the list item is deleted. Another cool feature that we can implement in a similar way is ion reorder button. It is very similar to implement. All I have to do is paste in another button here and it is called as ion reorder button. It has an additional directive called on reorder which takes the name of a function which is executed every time the user tries to reorder the items in the list. The item itself, the from index and the to index are passed in as parameters to this function. We will have to implement this function in our controller but before that we will have to allow reordering just like we have to allow deletion. So we will just create a new directive here called show reorder and again instead of using true or false value 
I will use the name of a variable which I'll create in a moment called allow reorder. Okay. So if the value of allow reorder is set to true, the reordering will be allowed. Otherwise, it will not be allowed. And the value will be modified with the help of a button in our header bar. I'll just change the text to reorder. Instead of allow delete, we want to have allow reorder. That's it. Now all I have to do is go to our app.js file, define a default value for our allow reorder variable, which is false. And I'll save it. And now if I click on this reorder button, you can see that I have the buttons that I can use to reorder items in the list. Although if I try reordering the items in the list, it is not going to work because we have not yet implemented this function called reorder item. So let's just go ahead and do that. So I'll go to my app.js file and just before I close my controller, I'll create a function called reorder item on my scope and this will be a function which will take three parameters. The first one is the user itself and I'll get the from index which is the index that the user is dragging the list item from and the to index which is the index in the list that the user is dragging the item to. Okay. All these indices are zero based. So if I am dragging Samarth Agrawal to the third position in the list then the from index value will be zero and the to index value will be two. Okay, and what I can do, I can use the splice method from JavaScript to remove and add items to the list. What I want is remove the item from the from index value and add that item to the to index value in our users array. So I'll just use a scope dot users dot splice. Okay, and I want to remove an item from the from index and I want to remove just one item. So this line of code will remove one item from the from index. But we have to add the item back to the list. So I'll use the scope.users.splice again. This time I'll pass in the two index and I'll pass in zero as the second parameter, which means that I do not want to remove any elements from the array. Instead, I want to add an element and the element is user itself. I'll save it. And now if I try to reorder items in the list, I can do that. So let's try that. I'll click on the reorder button and the buttons show up. And I'll try to drag the first item to the second position. And you can see that the list has been reordered completely. And this way you can use the delete and reorder functionalities of ion list, which are provided to you out of the box. Last but not the least, there is one more cool feature that ionic list provides. And it is that you can have additional buttons for each list item, which get revealed only when the user wants them. All you have to do is swipe the list item to the left and the button shows up. So let's see how to do that. Currently, if I try to swipe the item to the left, nothing happens. But if I type in can swipe and set its value to true, now I can implement ion option button to enable swiping. So I'm going to paste in some code here. And I have pasted in the code of a button which is ion option button. It has a class of button info. So it will just show me a white button. First of all, let me add a class called button assertive, which will show me a red button. And the ion option button takes in an ng click directive, which is executed every time this button is clicked. So I'll just use a function called edit, which I'll implement in my app.js file inside my controller. And I'll pass in the current user to the edit function. Now I'll just go to my app.js file real quick and implement this function. I do not want to do anything serious. So I'll just implement a function which will just show us an alert and I'll pass in the user there. All I want to do is alert editing and then the name of the user which is user dot name. Okay. So if the user clicks on the edit button, they will see an alert. So what I'll do, I'll swipe the list item to the left. And I get to see the edit button, which is red in color and has the text edit on it. And if I click on the button, and if I click on this button, I get to see an alert that says editing Samartha Grawal. Okay. So we actually get the whole list item that we are trying to manipulate or perform some actions on as a parameter in this edit function. Okay. So this is pretty much it about this video. This is how you can implement these cool features like deletion, reordering and additional tasks 
using built-in functionalities of IonList that Ionic provides. We will use these features a lot during development of our WooCommerce application in the next module. But before that, we will learn about some more JavaScript components that Ionic has.